I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find domain and range of a rational function. In most of the videos which you see you are only finding domain and not the range. So this video is kind of special. The question here is state domain and range of y equals to 2x minus 3 divided by x square. I'll request you to pause the video, try to answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Well, as far as the domain is concerned, we know that x is not equal to 0 since x squared, if it is 0, then the denominator will have a 0 and that is not possible. It has a vertical asymptote at that point. So the domain here is that d of x is x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to 0, right? So that becomes the domain for the function. And now we'll see how to find range for this particular function. So that is a major exercise which we'll like to see. And the method here is a very interesting method. We have the function y equals to 2x minus 3 over x squared. To find the range, let us cross multiply. So we get y times x squared equals to 2x minus 3. Now that becomes kind of a quadratic equation bring all the terms together. So we have y x square minus 2x plus 3 equal to 0. Now we are saying that the function which we have now will have a real 0 or a real solution if b square minus 4 is, is greater than 0, right? So the idea here is that we need to equate b square minus 4 is e to greater than 0 to get all the real solutions, right? So that will give us the value of y. Now here a is equal to y if you compare b is equals to minus 2 and c is equals to 3, right? So on the right side of this page we will solve for b square minus 4 is c. So when we say b square minus 4 is c that means minus 2 square minus 4 times a is y and c is 3. That should be greater than 0. Now, so that gives us 4 minus 12y should be greater than 0 or 4 should be greater than 12y or 4 divided by 12 should be greater than y or 1 over 3 should be greater than y correct so that is the condition which will ensure that this quadratic equation represents real solution right so so we get our range from here do you get the idea so from here we get the range and range is y belongs to real numbers so that y is less than 1 over 3 correct so that becomes the range we have already written the domain. Domain is from this function itself. We can say domain is x belongs to real numbers so that x is not equal to 0. So that is how we can get domain range of a rational function like this. I hope that helps you a lot. Well, it should be greater than equal to, right? So because at equal to also, we will get uh, the real value, right? So uh, let me make this change. It will be greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, correct? So so the range for us is that y is less than or equal to 1 over 3, okay? Sorry for that mistake. So remember, b square minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0 will give us a real solution, right? That gives us real solution and therefore we'll include 1 over 3 in our function. So that becomes our absolute maximum. Right? So we'll see that in later videos. Thank you and all the best.